previously on Project Runway Philippines. Here in front of you are some of your signature pieces. For your first challenge, you will hack into another designer's piece and will make it your own. My weakness as a designer is I don't really do sewing a lot. Napansin ko na nahirapan si Roj. Pag makarinig kasi siya ng konting kwan, ulitin niya. Huwag ka magpanig. All of you, watch out for Ronald. This guy is someone to look up to and some person to sort of like really got talent. I think you own the piece. I love what you did. Jared, you are the winner for tonight's challenge. This is Project Runway Philippines. The search for the country's next big fashion designer. 15 contestants. Three finalists will make the cut. But only one can be the winner. For these 15 designers, Project Runway is a chance of a lifetime. I have what it takes to be in the next Project Runway Philippines winner kasi determined ako eh, determined akong matuto, determined ako na makipag-level sa mga kasamahan ko. Lahat sila nag-ara, lahat sila may working experience sa fashion. Ako lang siguro yung talagang amateur dito sa field na to, pero hindi yung dahilan para hindi ako lumaban sa kanila. Ako as a designer and my style, alam ko mismo yung sarili ko. At yung pinakakalaban ko, I think, is myself. I think I'm one of the threatening competitors kasi when we had our first challenge, most of my competitors nagustuhan yung design ko. As we step on the workroom, we saw tables with luggages and Sir, Sir Georgie is in the front with a map of the world and they have like keys pinned on the map. Hello designers, how are you? Hello. Hi. Today we want to know if your designs can reach far or fall short. Are you intrigued? Okay, so for your next challenge, designers, you will be creating a chic convertible ensemble fit for a jet setter. Now here's the twist. Your materials are contained in these luggage bags. Tinig nang ko yung map, hinanap ko agad yung Japan kasi kung may key doon, yun at yun ang talaga yung uuna kong kukunin. Okay, now designers, you get to pick your bags. Now Jared, as the winner of the first challenge, you get to pick first. Well, I'm happy. So, yung pinakamaganda na lang talaga sa akin na, na which is very familiar when it comes to outfit is the Indonesia. So, Asian siya eh. So, mas madali siyang i-play yung, yung fabric. Now, you have another task. You have to pick the order by which uh, the other designers can pick their luggage bags. Siyempre, magiging strategic siya. Sino ba namang hindi, di ba? Siyempre, competition pa rin to. <laughs> Pinili ko muna yung mga designers na medyo hindi sila masyadong particular when it comes to pattern. So, yung hinuli ko, yung talagang matatalinong designer. So, who goes first? Schiltz. Schiltz? The country that I'm, I'm really eyeing for is Australia because I've lived in Australia for, for five years. Romel. China. Joy. <laughs> Japanese kasi, more on parang anti-fashion, so which is ako. And yung favorite designer ko is from Japan, which is si Yuji Yamamoto. I hate you! Enzo. Miss Celine. I picked USA because I thought that it would have the easiest fabrics to work with, like ready to wear cotton. AJ. AJ. Brazil. It's very close to the Philippines. Tropical country kasi, so yung, the way they dress, very sexy. I think I can pull it off. Miss Jingai. It's all about the Scots, baby. Wendell. 
Ang napili kong country actually is India. Kasi mahilig ako sa sari, magaganda yung sari nila. Parang rich yung kultura nila. Marvin, ito yung mga magagaling eh. <laughs> kami yung huling pinili ni Jared. Sinabi niya noon, nung ano, bago niya kami tawagin. Ito kasi yung mga quote-unquote, mga magagaling sa mata niya. Sa tingin ko, threat ako sa kanya. Miss Melay. So, ang pinili ko na lang yung Egypt. Naisip ko kasi yung pyramid, yung mga golden bling-bling and all. Mau. Gusto kasi huli si Justin eh, kasi magaling talaga to eh. I was the last one. Natakot ako kasi wala na akong option to choose anything. I don't know if it's a compliment or it's a insult. Si Justin kasi very talented din eh. Okay, designers, you were assigned countries, di ba? So this is not Miss Universe. I don't want to see national costumes, okay? <laughs> This is a test whether you can inject your aesthetics and versatility as a designer to create a functional yet chic travel ensemble. Designers, this is an individual challenge and you will be given 30 minutes to sketch your design here in the workroom. So, you may start now. Work, 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 and I'll see you later. Uh, oh, yeah. Anong country mo, Enzo? England. Pero parang best in Santo Nino. <laughs> so when I open it, it's like, okay, think of like beach, because it's all like towels and board shorts and jersey. Pagbukas ko ng luggage, nakakaloka yung laman. May nakita akong dalawang pusang gumagano'n gano'n. <laughs> Aaning ko ito yun, tapos may dalawang lanterns. Dala well, ayawan, bigla ako na blank ko talaga. Blank as in blank. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> so happy! Oh my God! Extremely happy because I saw prints. Nice fabrics. There was like, there was... Pretty much when they opened, there was this quilt fabric thing. I'm like, oh, I love this. And the colors were so rich and, you know, earthy. Definitely, naiinggit ako kay Joy. Kasi nung nakita ko yung mga fabrics niya na very Japanese, and then may mga magagandang prints do, may magagandang mga details. Parang, <laughs> naisip ko ang dami kong magagawa doon. Nung binuksan ko yung luggage, kasi queen fabric agad yung nakita ko. So parang, oh, shit, ba't ganun? Ba't ito napunta sa akin? I ended up with Hawaiian shirts, which are not even American. <laughs> Thankfully, there were two cuts of really nice fabric, which were kind of fringy. Happy because there are some gold. At least, I have accessories. The sad part is, Karamihan is brocade. Parang medyo costume yung etsura niya, so parang medyo struggling talaga ako kung paano ko siya ita transform into something na wearable, na hindi siya mo kang costume. Mezo, it's very challenging. But then, of course, uh, I won't. I won't stop fighting. I think, naman, coming into this challenge, I will do well because when you come in, alam mo yon, you never refresh me sarili mo. Yun. I live in the moment. I am here because I'm meant to be here. Coming up on Project Runway Philippines. I'm not so keen on your design. Nasa sewing room lang kami, nagtatahi kaming lahat. Tapos parang napansin namin, wala na si Justin. So nandun pala siya sa lounge, natutulog. For this challenge, we need to do some chic jet setter clothing. Something easy to wear, but still stylish. Hello, designers. 
What's your country? India. India. Tapos na? Hindi pa. <laughs> Hindi ko alam kung paano siya ikukombine lahat. Kasi ang dami talaga so. Kung iba-ibang tela, and then you have this for the hood, ganyan, ganyan, ay, hindi na India yan. China yan. Chop suey. Babo. Plano ko talaga gamitin yung ibang fabric like the velvet. Pero medyo din-scourge ako ni Sir George. If you're somebody with velvet, go. <laughs> but if you're not, I don't want I don't you want to annoy. Oh, yes. I already have a country in my mind na uh, what to choose, which is Japan. Unfortunately, since I was the last one, si Joy yung nakakuha ng Japan. What's your country? Oh my God, Kenya. Magde-design ako ng something. May vibe ng tribal. Although, gagawin ko siyang modern and edgy. I'm not so keen on your design. The pants? Parang everything, parang... Hindi mm. naman yung sinabing pangit yung gawa ko, pero parang he doesn't seem to see yung aesthetic ko dun sa design ko daw. Aloha, Miss USA! Aloha! Sir Georgie looked at my initial design and he did suggest to me to scratch a piece of fabric that I was using. The white cotton uh, fabric, uh, I think, is really um, a bed sheet. Yeah, and it's cut like a bed sheet also. Then it is a bed sheet. So I did scratch that and I scratched everything except the fringe fabrics, and that's really what I'm using right now. Hi, Joy. I remember you got Japan. Huh? Yes, pa. Okay. Asal na kabuna ako ng isa. Ay. Okay. <laughs> this one is yung t-shirt. I want something loose. Then maglalagay ako ng jacket na mayroong zipper. Then puta zipper, zipper, zipper. Pa ikot yung zipper niya. So spiral yung ano niya. Pali yung pattern is parang snake. Then the bottom part is this fabric po. Gagawa ko ng pants. I must say na daring yung take mo on the challenge kasi talagang gusto mo mismatch, na baboy, ganyan. But how do you think will the judges take it? Ano yan? Hindi ko alam. Bahala na sila. Bahala na. Eh kung yun naman yung taste ano ko, so I think... Okay. Hi, Chika. Hi, Georgie. Okay, so you are Miss? Scotland. Oh, okay. It's going to be asymmetrical a bit, mm -hmm. to this side, at least to this dark. Okay, I suggest that uh, you simplify the dress, so you will be able to still make a jacket. Kasi it's hindi ba? Just, a, just, a, just a dress. But it says convertible. Okay, so it should be something that you mm -hmm. can, I, flexible mm -hmm. as the weather. Mm -hmm. Say again. Okay. 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 Good luck. Mm -hmm. Good luck. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Sige, oo. Before po nakausap si Sir Jojo, meron na akong unang design. Yung country ko po is Egypt. Medyo madami po ako. Touch of gold. So, nung pinakita ko siya, eh, pencil cut out of um, si Queens. Tapos, uh, upper belly yung level ng top. Tapos, parang cape siya. Na pwedeng i-transform into something na um, parang flower siya. Kaso, nung pinakita ko kay Sir Jojo, sabi niya, parang, Ayun uh, yan, there's something wrong. I don't think it's uh, practical to travel with some sort of uh, backpack in front. <laughs> so, medyo gahul na ako sa oras, tapos medyo na-stress na ako. Kasi yun na yung parang talagang nakaset na sa mind ko na gagawin ko, tapos inumpisahan ko na siya. Hindi ba, when you travel, you want the pieces in your wardrobe to be very versatile. Okay. Okay. Biggest obstacle, siguro, that would be the fabric. Kurtina talaga, kahit parang gawin mo siyang top, crop top, or parang kurtina pa rin siya. Hi, Joyce. Hello. You're so galing talaga when it comes to combining prints and patterns. He was quite excited to see what I'm going to come up with. He was happy with what he saw. I mean, for now. <laughs> Bank of China ba yan? <laughs> Honestly, natuwa ako. Dahil hin never in my life kasi nakagawa ako ng uniform. Tapos sinabi niya na mukha siyang uniform. So parang na-achieve ko yung uniform. Yun nga lang, sa challenge neto, hindi siya uniform. Parang siguro skirt. I don't know. 
What do you think of ano, like kung yare shorts? You know, just to make it uh, parang mas casual, make it look younger. Para siya magta travel noong 1960s na ang nito travel make or sage dito. <laughs> Designers, you only have five hours left to finish your work. Tomorrow, the runway, one of you will be eliminated. So, work, 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 and good luck. Right now, I think I'm on the right path. I mean, it's not looking tribal, it's not looking Miss Universe, which is good. The past few hours, I've been taking out the fringe from the white fabric so I could use it to make into a top. So I'm really afraid for the time because I don't know if I can even put anything together by the end of the day. Ilang na lang masuka na ako. Masuka ako sa table ko kasi parang hindi parang hindi ko alam hindi ko na maramdaman kung ano yung hindi ko na alam kung ano yung nararamdaman kasi sobrang stress talaga. Ngayon. Kinakabahan na. Coming up on Project Runway Philippines. I'm really, really pissed off. In 10 minutes, you and your models should go down to the runway. Where's Jingai? You have 10 minutes more. The winner of Project Runway Philippines Season 4 has an amazing prize package. 250,000 pesos in cash for the grand prize. Another 250,000 pesos from Brother International to start their own fashion line, a fabulous trip for two to London, a fashion spread in Mega Magazine, a fashion game changer scholarship from I Academy, 50,000 pesos worth of products from the face shop for the winning designer, another 50,000 pesos worth of products from the face shop for the winning model, and finally, 100,000 pesos worth of products and services from the Ivy Institute for both the winning designer designer and the winning model. Hi, designers, your models are here for the fitting. <laughs> I think I'm safe. If anything, I'm safe. I don't think I have the worst garment. My design aesthetic is more on avant-garde. Na parang lahat ng tao titingin sa yo. But something na parang lahat ng tao isipin nila. Ah, ang weird. Ang badoy. I want to create something out of this world at the same time wearable. Should look like us. The major problem now is the measurement with the model because my design won't fit to her. Because nagbago di ba ng models? Even before that, alam ko may problema na sa design ko. Last hour na. Sobrang tense na yung atmosphere. Lahat ng tao, even yung mga usually jolly, tsaka mga comedian, tahimik. Talagang lahat nagpo-focus. Lahat talagang tinatapos kung ano yung kayang tapusin for today. Uh, I don't feel well. Everything's not working out. Hindi ko ma-process kasi kung ano yung mali sa design ko. I'm really, really pissed off with everything. Kasi it all started actually when I was the last one to be chosen for the challenge. Para ayoko manise na ibang tao, pero I won't deny na I'm affected by what happened today. Tanggapin natin sa hindi, magkaibigin tayo sa labas. But the fact is, this is a competition. Isa lang talaga yung dapat maiwan. Parang tinagap ko na lang siya na mangyayari na yung whatever. 
Kanina, uh, nasa sewing room lang kami, nagtatahi kaming lahat. Tapos parang napansin namin, wala na si Justin. So nandun pala siya sa lounge, natutulog. So nilapitan ko kasi syempre, baka din may mga kailangan din siyang tapusin. So tinanay ko siyang gisingin. Kaso nung nakita ko siya talaga na hindi siya nagre-respond, parang ayaw ko na siyang gisingin kasi alam ko yung pagod niya. Pag dumadating sila, nagigising ako. Pero hindi ko na lang sila pinapansin kasi na, um, nahihiya ako. The first few people who actually chose their cases were the ones who ended up with crappy stuff. Yeah, but not in my case. I have like gold, bling bling, and... And you don't like stuff. it, right? You don't like it or you like it? No, I don't like it. That's why you chose it. No, yeah. because I was not expecting that I'll be getting those stuff. So you also. I was struggling too. But then, when before we, we got home, I feel like it was, I did something magic. Para confident na ako ayoko na sa board. Basta may model yung ano, model. Come me. I hope that all of us, if we have time today, will make it work. Challenge number three, here we go! Nung pumasok kami ng work room namin, medyo... Tuliro kami lahat eh. So, parang ang dami pang hahabulin, ano. Everyone was like so tense. We were rushing things because we only have like two hours to finish our looks, our garments. Since ang fabric ko is Egypt na, gold, bling bling, mga sequins. Sabi ko, I don't wanna stick na parang masyadong literal na. So, gusto ko siyang halfway. Kaya ako siya pinalitan kasi parang inisip ko, yung pa-Venus kasi niya is parang hindi ako. Parang medyo sexy kasi yung dating. At saka masyadong literal na Egypt. I don't know what to feel. I'm really uh, numb. I don't know what to do. And then, I had a eureka moment na siguro I have to do this and place it on top, which is the fringe. And then, I think it will add more attitude with my design. Thanks God, thanks God talaga. Fit naman sa model. Wala namang so far na gulilyaso. I was really worried about the time because I did waste a lot of time taking all the fringe out of my white fabric. I was really rushing and trying to get her garment together so that she can walk down the runway wearing something. But I'm still happy with what turned out. Ang saya ko kasi kasyang-kasya talaga sa model ko. Sobrang nakatulong sa akin yung Japan na country na pili ko kasi yun yung aesthetic ko. Ang feeling ko, yun yung mas mag-work sa akin. When I saw the final design I have, I felt so much better. Um, natuwa ko naman sa sinabi ng model na she like it better. On end, she even helped me work with cutting ng mga fringes. So, thank you, Angie, for that. I decided to last minute really do the skirt part of the dress. So, that was a, a misstep for me because I needed to finish. Our designers, you will have to send your models to the hair and makeup room. And please remember, you can get anything you want from the Parfois style wall.
and contour sa cheeks. Parang kalalapas sila ng hap ng airplanes. Kung lakas ang hangin, may bagyo siguro. Walang kilay. Then, yung sige, lagyan dito ng red. And then, dark. Bongga yan. Love it. I felt so good. I felt so great. Hindi na ako ganun ka pressure eh. Prepared na ako for this. Talaga. Yung ginawa ko, mananalo, I think no. Or I would say, I'm safe. <laughs> I'm hoping na I'd be safe. I work all the best I can, and I think I can see myself now with the design I have. Kung mapupunta ako sa bottom three, nakasad na sobra kasi nga ideas pagod nila an namin din sa garment na yon. Pero kung masadong hindi para sa kanila, hindi na intindi yung setik ko kasi mahirap din intindi yung setik ko anti fashion nga. A lot of other people are panicked, but I'm actually excited and I'm pretty confident in my work. I hope that I'll win this challenge. Designers, uh, in 10 minutes, you and your models should go down to the runway, okay? I'll see you in 10 minutes. Oh. Where's Jingai? Next, on Project Runway Philippines. It's really bad. It's a disaster. I'm not gonna mince words. Palpak. Kala ko nga lalaki yung modelo mo eh. In 10 minutes, you and your models should go down to the runway. Up. Where's Jingai? Puntahan niya ako sa sewing room. You have 10 minutes more. Okay. And he was asking how long I take. Sabi pa niya, Just one seam left? <laughs> no, not really. Kasi it wasn't a stitch. It was several stitches. Okay, thank you for okay. that. Okay, designers, let's all go down to the runway. When I went into work group, everyone was exiting. Mama kaawa ako kina at least stitch it. Sabi niya, just pin it for now. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Hello, designers. Welcome to the runway. As you know in fashion, one day you're in, and the next day you're out. There are 13 of you, but after tonight, there will only be 12. Tonight, we will determine if your designs can take you far and reach the sky. For your second challenge, you are asked to create an ensemble that transforms and fits a jet setter. The winner of this challenge will definitely receive immunity for the next week's challenge. Now let's meet the judges. We have one of the country's top fashion designers, Rahul Laurel. Hi guys. Hi. Next is a top model and a fashion expert, Apple Sabirin. Hello. Hello. And for our guest judge, we have one of the country's highly acclaimed fashion directors, Mr. Robbie Carmona. Hi designers. Hi. We also are introducing a new concept in Project Runway Philippines called Mentor Save, which means that your mentor, Georgie Loren, has the ability to bring back an eliminated designer if he doesn't agree with the judge's decision, which of course is very much possible. But he can only do this once throughout the entire season. We also have an anonymous runway wherein the judges and I have no idea who designed which look as they come down the runway. So if you're ready, Let's start the show. Oh. I 
thought my pieces are amazing. Very clean, very chic, very fit for a jet setter. And I think I did a good job. Oh my god. <laughs> I ko alam clueless ba ako kung ano yung gusto talaga nila, kung ano yung taste nila. Basta masaya ako sa ginawa ko. I was really pleased na pull through ko yung and look. It looks casual in the beginning and then merong flow at the end like tanggal niya yung tassel and then it looks like an evening gown at the end. So if I got eliminated, at least I've done all the best I can and I can see myself sa design ko. Proud naman ako kasi maganda naman siya nung nailawan. Siguro yung construction mapapansin nila. It's simpler than most of the other garments. Baka rin hindi nila magustuhan yung ganun. The perfect fitting short. Kung tuwa ako kasi ayun na, dala na naman niya yung garment ng maayos, maganda yung fitting. Kung tuwa ako. Happy ako dun sa resulta nung damit ko on stage. Nung lumabas na yung ibang mga models wearing other designers' pieces. Parang nakaka-challenge yung part na yun. Ito yung gaganda din talaga. I think may masasabi sa akin yung mga judges about the aesthetic ko nga. It's something na ako pa rin. Nung ginawa ko, nung first challenge to this challenge, parang nandun pa rin si Joy Chicano. Yung goal kasi namin is yun yan, magta-travel, tapos it has to look chic. Which is nakita ko naman sa model ko yun. Yung look naman ng model ko is not something na overdue, so masaya ko. I have a feeling, slight feeling, little feeling actually. The judges may appreciate the look that I did. I really did stuck with the theme and I will on this challenge. Nung nakita ko yung garment ko in a runaway, ang saya ko kasi maaga ko siyang natapos, na-edit ko siya ng maganda, and then parang nakaroon talaga ng totality yung garment ko. my dress. I love, love, love it. Design-wise, ah. I like the part that it was very edgy. It had that drape part. I love it. I really love it. Pero syempre, ako gumawa. Alam ko talaga kung ano yung chismis ng damit ko. When my model walked down the runway, it was exactly what I envisioned. And I was so happy looking at her. She looked so chic and polished and rich. Honestly, I really don't know what the judges are going to think. It's either they're going to love the simplicity or they're going to hate how simple it is. Hello, designers. Hey. If I call your name, please step forward. Wendell. Wah! Ano kaya to? Sa bottom na naman kaya. Rommel. Melai. Celine. Joy. Justin. If I didn't call your name, 
That means you're safe. You may now leave the runway. The six of you represent the highest and the lowest scores. One of you will be named the winner, and one of you will be out. Let's call out your models. Now it's time to explain your designs, and maybe we can start with you, Celine. I picked USA. I assumed that I would get ready-to-wear fabrics, but I ended up with Hawaiian fabrics. And luckily, I got this fabric. I made it into a skirt, and I used the base fabric, which is chiffon, and I turned it into a top. At the hem, there are buttons. These buttons can be folded inside to transform into a pencil skirt. And also her top can be used as a vest. Well, I think that you did a fantastic job. Your skirt is very whimsical, but you made it look polished. I see uh, your client wearing this from, uh, from a plane straight to an event. And um, thank you for explaining the materials you used. It, it made me more appreciate your work. Thank you. Melai, are you ready for us? To be honest with you, I really had a hard time deciding on what design since my country is Egypt. All I have um, was uh, all brocades, gold, uh, Santo Nino bling bling, um, two yards of uh, satin. So I decided to make a uh, oversized jacket. And then, yes, just to pair the uh, the satin, I have to put uh, this accent here to make it look rugged. She looked like she rushed out of the house and just put stuff together just to make it to her flight. This just falls flat. It looks dated, it's unflattering. I sketch something different I'm using as a queen, but then I just realized that this is a uh, a jet setter um, uh, challenge, so uh, I listened to uh, to Sir Jojing about it. Ejo nagahol ako sa oras, parang hapa hapon nasa when I finish it. Can we hear from you, Window? So I created a three-piece ensemble. It's a coat, a topper, and a trouser. Pero yung trouser ko instead of the traditional drapering of the sari, I created as a scarf-like. The coat is reversible, actually. Well, I like it, but as a traveler, it's kind of sexy to be traveling that way, but I guess it depends where she's going, right? What I like about your piece is the coloring of uh, the jacket. Uh, I like also the placement of the embroidery. And I noticed when she removed the jacket, there was back details of the rings. I thought that was very interesting. Like, lift your hand, please. I really love that detail, how you put things together. Hi, Roma, it's your turn. I was really fascinated with the color red. That's why I chose China. Then when I opened it, I saw three colors of Chinese fabrics, one robe, two lanterns, and two cats like this. Two what? Two cats? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First time kung gumawa ng jacket sa buong buhay ko, gusto kong i-challenge yung sarili ko na gumawa ng jacket. So, happy naman ako. Although, nagkaroon siya ng konting problema sa consultation ni Sir Joji. Kasi yung first look, nagmukha siyang uniform, mga ganun. So, ay, nag-edit-edit ako. Tapos, ito ako, nag-game up ako ng ganito. <laughs> naubos na lang naubos, <laughs> kaya naging <laughs> short. <laughs> you know, you're very likable. And that's really important as a designer because the more people that like you, the more clients you will have. Sadly, it looks confusing. From the top, it looks sort of like a party jacket. From the bottom, it looks like babaeng mababa ang lipad, so to speak. Kala ko nga, lalaki yung modelo mo eh. Kasi nagbumuka siyang ladyboy. Kahit ikaw natatawa sa sarili mo. Because, you know, you can do so much better, right? So sorry, it's really bad. It's a disaster. I'm not gonna mince words, di ba? Palpak. Finally, can we hear from you, Justin? I got sequin fabric and beaded fabrics. And then I found this uh, brocade, which looks like a snake. I thought about the boa constrictor or a python. So I designed 
a wrap and drape top with this um, fringed leather and leather shorts to complement the top. I mean, I see that there's a potential in the top. I, mean, I see a woman wearing this, but it was too much. Can you flip the fringe behind her? That automatically, for me, fixes it and lets us focus on one thing. Right now, our eyes are all going all over the place and sometimes that's not good. Let's go to you, Joy. The country that I pick is Japan. I have four garments, pants, skirts, shirt, and jacket. The jacket has transformed. I love it. The amount of time that you were given to come up with four pieces, I think that's phenomenal. I, I really, Joy, you should be very proud of yourself. This is what we call fresh, this is what we call new, this is what we call different. I'm so excited to see more from you. I actually love the mix of textures. And you know how I always say edit? This time I'm going to say I'm glad you did it. You're actually one designer and one day I would like to collaborate with. Thank you. Okay, designers, we've heard what you had to say, but now it's time for the judges to have a little chat about your designs. You may leave the runway. Next, on Project Runway Philippines. That was tragic. Really, really tragic. The construction was done haphazardly. Let's start first with the ones we like. I really like Joy. What he did was intelligent, smart, fresh, young, new. Everything that I'm looking for in this particular contest. I, I think he's a person that thinks out of the box. And what he did was wonderful. It's not something that I was open to previously, but hey, you know what? He taught me something today. Celine. Brilliant how she used the materials. I like that look that was so polished, mm -hmm. given what she had. Mm -hmm. She's only 21, yes. but her level of sophistication Correct. is quite high. Can you imagine how much more when she goes out in the field of designing and put up her own business? Nagmukhang mayaman yung kliyente niya. Nagmukhang chic yung modelo. Kahit yung tela, hindi chic. So for me, that's talent also. Which is kind of sort of like confusing. Do we go with somebody who's sort of like really crazy with these ideas or do we go with someone who sort of like makes us aspire to buy their goods? Because at the end of the day, this is a, business. a business. What did you think of the lights? That was tragic. Really, really tragic. I remember doing a fashion shoot in the 80s and it was something I will know. <laughs> okay. In the 90s. <laughs> it was something like that. I found it so dated. She didn't really follow the theme. She didn't know what to do. She just cut it and put it together, and that's it. I'm submitting my work. You know what bothered me about her was she kept on making excuses. Yeah, From the moment she started explaining what she did, all I heard were, oh, I didn't get the fabric I wanted. It was so difficult. It was this, it was that. I, I kept on hearing that. and all. It, and it should be result-oriented rather than just putting the blame on other people. I agree. In the same vein, Rommel was shocking. From oh. a great performance the first time. Where was that, where was that woman going? Uh, a, a tailor jacket with a, with, with a strange um, crop top with those hideous shorts. But did you think that uh, Justin did better than Roman? I see the potential na sobrahan lang. Isa may mga bagay, di ba? Maganda naman kaso sumobra. One too many inspirations. Correct. But based on our discussion right now, I think we have a clear idea. Do we all agree? Yes. Yes. I think so. Window? You're safe. You may leave the runway. Gusto ko silang ihag. Super grateful na talaga ako. At least man lang napansin nila yung gawa ko. Yeah! 
joy. You gave a very, very unique perspective. And you gave a very, very fresh approach to what travel wardrobe means. Celine, you on the other hand, had a very intelligent approach towards the use of your materials. Your taste level and your sophistication was very evident in what you came up with. You both did a very fantastic job. I thought I was going to win, but I thought it was going to hurt me so that I didn't hurt Celine. I really thought Joy would win because he was really good. I saw his process. I call him the magic man because he just he creates magic. Only one can be the winner for tonight. And that is you, Celine. Congratulations. Thank you. You are the winner for tonight's challenge. That means you have immunity for the next week's challenge. And on top of that, you have an extra prize. You get to go on a trip, care of our friends from Cebu Pacific Air and Blue Water Maribago Resort. Congratulations. You may both leave the runway. I was so surprised. It was such a big thing to me. And I have immunity and a trip to Cebu, <laughs> my hometown. Yay. <laughs> Wow. Winning this challenge makes me want to win even more. And I want to win and win and win until I get to the top. Now the three of you. Romel. You're safe, you may leave the runway. Thank you so much. Sa next na challenge, siguro, kailang i-redeem ko ang sarili ko para sa kanila to prove na hindi sila nagkamali. Justin, your design lacked focus. It looked overly designed. And Melai, travel should make one really giddy and excited, but your garment looked really sad. Not to mention that the construction was done haphazardly. Justin. You're safe. You may now leave the runway. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for your time. I wish you the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Nakaka-guilty siya kasi siya yung na-eliminate just to make me uh, stay here sa competition. You're leaving us. What's next? Ano, life goes on. Sabi nga ni Sir Raho na ipagpatuloy lang kung ano mga inumpisahan. Next, on Project Runway Philippines. So designers, this is your first group challenge. And the designers sitting with you are your teammates. I've had better days. I really couldn't function anymore. It doesn't matter if she has immunity. I'm pretty sure Vin and myself would be able to pull it off. You make me stand up and take notice of you and your talent. You're making us question your abilities as a designer. I can take you out. I would take you out right now. <laughs> <laughs>